Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to do performance review of the Adidas Trey Van Yang. A totally underrated shoes. I got this six months ago and uh, for, totally forgot about it and doubted a good performance out of it. So when I tried this, into my surprise, it is a good performance basketball shoes. And with the incoming release of the Trey Young 2, uh, this signifies the good uh, performance of the version 1. So I'm gonna do a quick review. So this is Doc Chicky and this is the DR show. What's up? Is there anyone to help me? I want to have rest. I'm sick and tired, and I want some caress. I have been a player all the days of my life. To forget all my problems, and I thought it's right. I was deceived by this world. Maybe you can help me. Maybe I can run to ecstasy or take some VG. Or maybe I can be illegal right now for the second time. I think. So let's go. On the top of the box, we have a text. Always remember when they doubted you by Trey Young. It is an inspirational quote. And on the lateral side of the box, it says the first edition. For the traction, we have a solid rubber outsole with herringbone pattern on the forefoot area, linear pattern on the mid area, and spiral pattern on the heel area. The combination of this uh, pattern provided a good traction uh, on the floor. I played on a dusty rubberized cement court and I did not experience any slip ups or pagkadulas. The grooves are deep and the rubber is thick so I definitely would recommend these shoes to be used on outside or outdoor playing court. The shoes is very squeaky and it has a good traction. I did not experience slippage or pagadulas. And compared to other shoe reviewers claiming that it's uh, slippery on their floor, I play on a dirty or dusty rubberized court and definitely experience no slippage on the shoes. And it has a smooth heel to toe transition. For the support, uh, the shoes is a one booty upper. It is very supportive although it has only two bilateral eyelets. So the lacing system provides good containment of the foot. And the internal heel counter prevented heel slippage and provided no side-to-side -side movement of the foot on the heel area. The light strike uh, midsole extends to the upper material. This provides support laterally. It has a wide base on the forefoot mid and heel area this provides foot stability and meron siyang extra thick shank plate which provides rigidity and stability sa midfoot and also it prevents unwanted torsional movement in the midsole for the cushioning meron siyang full length light strike uh, cushioning which provides good cushioning and bounce back and also on the heel, meron siyang boost technology which provides impact protection. This is an ideal setup. This provides responsiveness and comfortability to the foot. And it is uh, very low to the ground which provides very good court feel. This is the most comfortable shoes that I've worn from Adidas. So I would like to give appreciation to Adidas for making these shoes. And it has a good compression on both the heel and forefoot area. For the materials, meron siyang combination of textile mesh and suede materials. So overall, it is thick and rigid. Your foot will be adequately contained inside the shoes. 
So overall, I would say the materials used is on point. However, the downside of these uh, materials, uh, it has no ventilation. For a size 10, uh, meron siyang timbang na 440 grams or 15.5 ounces. Average weight. For the fitting, it is a little roomy on the toe box and it is made up of one booty upper which means it has no tongue. However, I did not experience a hard time going inside the shoes. For the sizing, for regular and wide footers, go through to size. For the comfort, the upper booty material and the internal heel counter is minimally padded. However, uh, this pro also provides minimal comfortability and plushness. For the overall and final rating of the shoes, I would give a score of 9.5 over 10. This is due to the fact it has good cushioning, good support, lockdown and fit. This shoes is perfect for point guards, shooting guards, and small forwards. For a price of 6,500 pesos or $112, this is a must try for you if it's still available in your area or store. Or better yet, wait for the Trey Young 2 to be released this month of October and we'll be giving you a performance review of it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the performance review of the Trey Wan Young. And if you like contests like this, please like, comment, and subscribe in this channel. Thank you very much and see you on the next one. I've been a player all the days of my life To forget all my problems and I thought it's right I was deceived by this world, maybe you can help me Maybe I can run to ecstasy or take some whiskey Or maybe I can be illegal right now for the second time I think it's good somehow Well if I'm wrong, who will teach me up the right way? I'm so much better, remember you always think I'm okay So now my lord, I confess all my sin Help me in this cruel world so I can begin I need to swallow my pride again I do it on my own, the sin is always for me Pursuing the powers of my bone Say me a lord, put my name in the book of life I agree with you, your friends Sam, that you are the light I don't wanna live in this very cruel world